Applebee's seems like the most basic of basic chain restaurants, the kind of place where mom, dad, and their 2.5 children would go for a kids-eat-free meal deal, while across the restaurant in the bar, the gals from HR whoop it up on a ladies' night out with $1 margaritas. But it's not all suburban fun. Here are some of the biggest stains on Applebee's reputation. Applebee's can be a pretty tough place to work. As of July 2019, it only rates 3.2 on Glassdoor, with reviews citing long hours, late nights, rude customers, and understaffing. Some employees also said they weren't fully paid. A 2016 class action lawsuit filed on behalf of employees at 23 Applebee's restaurants in West Virginia, Virginia, Ohio, and Kentucky claimed that they were being stiffed on their wages. These employees, all of whom were considered to be servers and bartenders, and thus paid only the $4.25 per hour tipped staff get, were nonetheless required by their managers to perform labor such as washing dishes or cleaning the parking lot. The company has been accused of requiring tipped employees to perform duties that are non-tipped duties without receiving proper compensation. U.S. federal law doesn't permit restaurants to pay less than minimum wage if employees are performing non-tipped work. There's no word yet on the outcome of the suit. As Applebee's struggled through the summer of 2017, some Texas locations hit upon a brilliant promotion — sell margaritas for just a dollar. The locations involved sold more margaritas in July of that year than ever before. By October, the newly christened Dollaritas had rolled out nationwide. But shortly after Dollaritas themselves went viral, so did a Facebook video by an Applebee's bartender sharing the secret Dollarita recipe. One gallon of bottom shelf tequila, one gallon of margarita mix, and three gallons of water, making the drink only one fifth booze. And that's without ice. Applebee's issued denials and cast doubt on whether the anonymous video poster was even an employee. But the commenters had already passed judgment. Even so, a dollar drink is still a dollar drink, and they kept on selling just fine. Author Tracy McMillan, while researching her 2012 book The American Way of Eating, undercover at Walmart, Applebee's, Farm Fields, and The Dinner Table, spent a year working at poorly paid entry-level jobs in the food industry, including a stint as an Applebee's prep cook. While there, she unearthed some information that will come as a shock to practically nobody. Hardly anything served at Applebee's is fresh. Almost everything that comes out of an Applebee's kitchen is prepackaged, frozen, or dehydrated. And yes, most of the so called cooking takes place in a microwave. That's Chef Mike. Chef who? Chef Mike. It's a microwave. McMillan did reveal one little known fact. In many cases, the plastic dishes in which the Applebee's food is microwaved melt slightly, leaving remnants that stick to the food and must be wiped off. But it seems some of that melted plastic taste still lingers on the palate. Eaten good. At least seven people who dined at a Minneapolis-area Applebee's in the summer of 2014 came down with food poisoning caused by a rare strain of E. coli that had never been seen previously in the United States. Four of them had to be hospitalized. Investigations pointed to the unfortunately named Oriental Chicken Salad, so Applebee's temporarily removed it from the menu statewide. The chain also reportedly changed suppliers, but offered little information about those suppliers or what they supplied. Still, shockingly, as of 2019, the salad is still on the menu, un-PC name and all. A family with kids ages 9, 10, and 11 visited a Johnson City, Tennessee Applebee's for dinner, and when the server asked what the kids wanted to drink, they asked for root beer. She went off to fetch them three bottles of what she thought was soda. Eagle-eyed dad, however, noticed that it was not your father's root beer, which is 5.9% alcohol. He argued with the server, then called the police as well as Applebee's corporate. I immediately told my kids to stop drinking the alcoholic beverage. I brought it to her attention, and she said, no, no, it's root beer. The nine-year-old was checked out at a hospital, but was released and expected to be fine. The server involved was suspended from her position, and management apologized profusely, promising to retrain all of the restaurant staff in beverage management. The family likely got their meals for free, although the kids never got any real root beer. That Applebee's didn't actually have any available. In February 2018, two women had their dinner at the Independence Center Applebee's in Missouri interrupted by visits from a police officer, a mall security guard, and the manager. They were accused of having dined and dashed the day before. They were told to pay up, get out, and stay out. 
One of the women recorded a video on her phone while the incident was playing out and later posted it to Facebook, noting that she believed it happened because they were black. Not surprisingly, the video went viral, causing Applebee's to issue a public apology as well as firing the manager and the two employees who had been involved in profiling the diners. Applebee's was so rocked by the accusations that they ended up permanently closing the Independence restaurant rather than temporarily as originally planned. In 2013, a pastor at a St. Louis Applebee's objected to the automatic 18% tip added because she had more than eight people in her party. In defiance of the standard gratuity policy, the pastor crossed out the included tip and left a note saying, I give God 10%, why do you get 18? Another waitress took a picture of the receipt and uploaded it to Reddit. The image instantly went viral. Applebee's response was a disaster. They fired the waitress who posted the photo, claiming that posting this receipt was a violation of customer privacy. But the company had itself posted the back of a receipt revealing a customer's full name just a month earlier. Internet commenters grew vocal, demanding Applebee's rehire the waitress. Talk of boycotts began, and Applebee's responded by picking fights with Facebook followers, spamming, deleting comments, and then claiming not to have deleted those comments. The former waitress, Chelsea Welch, went on to become a commentator and spokesperson for food servers' rights. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more mashed videos about restaurant chains are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.